Hello, it's Robert Miner with Dynamic Traders Group with, with today's DT Daily 3-Minute Update and Trade Strategy, where we take a look at one or two markets that are at or very near an immediate position for a specific trade. And whether you trade the market that we look at today or not, you'll learn something that you can apply to other markets and other time frames. Let's get started. The stock indexes are in a very unique position for a very low risk, high probability trade strategy. Let's take a look at the SPX. This is the cash daily data. It's the same with the other indexes, particularly the ES. And a key uh, point that I want to make for you today and a learning point is how to identify in some situations and some market structures what should be the maximum price if indeed we're correct in the technical analysis of, of the market structure and some of the other technical analysis. In this case, with the, the, the SPX, if this is a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4, um, I've developed over the years specific end-of-wave price relationships and target zones. And But we in this case, we could just go with a basic Elliott Wave guideline. Well, really, it's an Elliott Wave rule that in an impulse wave where there's waves 1, 3, and 5, wave 3 should not be the shortest of those three. Well, we can look right here and see if this is a 1, 2, and a 3, and a 4. And, of course, we're making that assumption, being, and it fits together quite well. If that's the case, we, we can see that, obviously, the wave 3 is less in price range than wave one. So if that's the case, and if three can't be the shortest, that means this five cannot be greater than three. So we just do a simple 100% alternate price projection. Oops, and I had that. I want to get it to 100%. There we go. All of this, of course, we did for subscribers several days ago, and we keep that. And we can see that it uh, if we have a ways one through four complete, the maximum upside should be 303.65 or 3,365. Excuse me, that's the 100% alternate price projection of wave uh, wave three. So it shouldn't be any greater than that. Where are we at? Well, as of last Wednesday, we reached 2995.84, just a few points short of that. So we knew as of Wednesday that we were near the extreme probable on the upside to complete the advance from the June low, just based on that one price relationship. We had a bunch of other technical positions that indicated we were near a top as well, and that we had two key time factors on the third, and that we had reached the daily momentum overbought. And actually on Friday, we made a bear reversal. So so where are we at? What a fantastic setup for a short trade with minimal capital exposure. And what I advise, particularly because uh, these days surrounded a holiday and they were light trading, is that as of Monday, if we make a lower daily close, that's the re initial reversal confirmation signal that, again, we've made a top that's not just going to last a few days. It's going to be greater in degree than either the, this wave two or wave four correction. And because the weekly momentums are dual look back over, but more than likely, we're going to be sideways down for two to three weeks, probably reach the 50% retracement. What an opportunity, and particularly particularly because uh, of the proximity to the 100% alternate price projection of the wave three. Ideal position to complete a five. If we're incorrect, capital exposure is just absolutely minimal to, uh, to enter this short trade for a probable decline to 28.62 or lower. Take advantage of this early next week if we get a lower daily close. Be one of the best setups you're going to have for a low risk, high probability, and high profit potential trade. That's it for today. Take care. We'll be back with you soon.